video, I've got to win spaces. I was about to go for a little walk, post office, and the courier van pulled up in the driveway. This is like, ah, still a little bit hot off the, so cool it down a little bit. It's a bit hot off the production line there. Um, this came really quick, like, really quick. I was very surprised. I've got a few frames coming. The wind space turned up the first. So we're going to compare it today with the SL7 S Works $8,700 frame here in Australia. 8700 AUD frame. We're going to do the weighing. Then we're going to build it up. We've got an SL7 behind this box here. We've got two SL7s, S Works. We're going to compare against the wind space. This is the SLC rim brake. And while we're opening up, we'll talk about the World Championships. Uh, Last night, or Belgium yesterday. Isn't it amazing that the Belgian riders uh, chased down Remco and let Alaphilippe just in the wheel, just going, yep, you guys, you guys chase down Remco, no worries, that's good. So when I attack, you'll be, you know, you'll, have, you'll be more gassed out. And then Belgium didn't even podium. They were so strong, they were so strong. And I'm, when Remco went up the road, I'm like, yeah, Remco's going for it, he could win. And then they, they chased him down, man. I'm like, what the heck? Did anyone notice that? Belgium chasing down Remco. If that break stayed away, which it probably could have, Remco most likely would have won. I couldn't believe what I was watching. I was like, this is crazy. This is crazy. Couldn't work it out. Why they uh, chase back Remco? Why would Belgium chase back Remco? He's on the quick step team. He's right for Specialized. All the sponsors are happy. I was, I was baffled, absolutely baffled. Right, what's in the box here? What's that? So, uh, even open this little bit. The Pussycat Jr. Oh, I've got a headset. Okay, cool, it's down headset and some spaces and spare hanger and stuff. FSA headset. Wow, it's a light seat, seat clamp there. Very good, very good. Little box. Um, that side. Makes you go quick for your games. Are you watch Is there a cat down there? No, he's up eating flies again. Eating flies. Beautiful Natasha film and damn, this is, this is so nice. Far out. Put it against the uh, SL7 there. So, yeah. So it's packaged very well. Chuck the person recycling. There's the fork here. Wow, I'm excited. I am excited. Wow. Presented beautifully. <laughs> seat post. Come to the seat post. I think you are very excited because when you heard that van, you sprinted up the yard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a zero offset seat post. Um, yeah, wow. That's cool. I may use this, I may not because uh, I like my Thompson, but it's a zero offset, so I'll probably use it. It does feel pretty light. So it's Packaged really, really well. Quality uh, looks as good as the S works. Let's shine a light down there. Let's shine a light down there. Um, here we go. Oh. So yeah, it, just, it looks as good as the S works. But S works fork to see. This is an S Works 4 SL7. <clears throat> I mean, if you're looking down the middle of them, <laughs> you could definitely think they come with the same production line in terms of finish quality. You know, it looks, yeah, it looks very good weight wise. Much and much just weighing weigh, weigh both in the set. This is raw carbon. That same stiffness. Direct mount brakes. The finish quality looks good. It looks as good as anything you're going to be getting from top tier frames. Made this is made in China, by the way. Also, S Works made in China, not Taiwan. Taiwan's where they ship from and get painted. But uh, yeah, so it looks very satisfactory there. A lot of people don't know that. Some people even think that the S Works is made in America. I mean, my S Works Festino is made in America. 
Well, this S words over here is made in China. China. So this is a, a guy who hooked me up with this, Joe from China Cycling. If you don't know China Cycling, check him out. Joe's a, he is a, um, what's the word you'd use to describe Joe? Cool guy, loves cycling, but I'd say he's like a, an instigator or an industry disruptor by bringing attention to how good quality the Chinese product is and the fact that all these top brands, you know, are making out of China. And people are like, I would buy a Chinese bike. And it's like, well, you've got the S-Works and that's made in China. It's the last built in the last 15 years. So Joe is doing great things. Uh, and he's now working for Windspace. And he's brought that Windspace brand right up uh, into the Western influence. So he's very smart. And it's very smart that Windspace got behind Joe. I mean, that's, they're very smart as well. A lot of the Chinese um, are a bit more smarter than the West. Chinese in that they they just can foresee things better. In the West, it's like, like if you try to get a bike sponsorship in Australia, like, oh, you do social media, I just want to do a job, oh, you do YouTube, no, 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 no. It's, they don't really get it, you know what I mean? They don't really get it. But here in the, in China, there's so many brands that send me stuff, or want to send me stuff, and I'm like, oh, do you have disc brake, uh, do you have a rim brake? Oh, we don't need a disc, oh, like, thanks, but no thanks. But, uh, and I can't get any rim brake frames anymore from my supplier because they're making just discs now for the orders from other brands. I'm just a small fry with Pragma, so I've been recommending people to get the SLC. This is damn white. Damn white. Um, looking down there, again, looks as good as anything I've got. Morellos, everything else. Got the caps out. Headset finish. Looks as good as any of my Super sixes, etc. So yeah. Again, what matters as well is ride quality, ride quality. So looks machined out quite nicely. And uh, what size is that? That this is a fifty-six, a fifty-six BB. Looks as, as good as any. Yeah. Looks as good as any. Anyway, let's get on the scales. So we'll pause the video and touch it, please, and then we'll chuck in the scale. The S-Works SL7 size 56. 880, no seat clamp, no derailleur. So if you put a derailleur clamp there, probably looking at 20 grams, so 900 grams. With the front derailleur clamp. Okay, if you want to scratch it, levels the resale. And this is the S-Works SLC. In space. Sorry. I was saying S-Works SLC. You did. 880 as well, what? <laughs> is that crazy? What? Really? That's crazy. Ma but Ma that's got. It, yeah, it's got what? It's got this on there, little front derailleur thing. Does the SL7 have that? No, it's, it's, I haven't bolted on yet. Yeah. So this is lighter by that's 20 lighter. grams. Let's take the tag off and <laughs> go hang on that one. <laughs> Do you want to cut that? Cock it on an indie star. So, still 880. That's pretty spooky. That's pretty spooky. So this is why the S the S L seven is so flexy. You know, it just doesn't have enough material in it to really like this job for the grand wider. In my opinion, it doesn't without the mount doesn't have enough material in it. You know, so can off the set the uh, with the paint. The paint this paint probably weighs about 130 grams, give or take. So that's 130 grams of carbon, which means you're going to flex your frame. This is why these bikes want so flexy. And this is why the SL7, the SLC, sorry, will be so much better because even though it's the same weight, it's not painted. And that's one, yeah, so that's, this is really spooky how similar these frames are. <laughs> I don't understand. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's weigh the forks up. That's a little derailleur brake angle guy. Fork. 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 404 uncut. Uncut. Four oh four uncut, fully eighty eight uncut. So again, the fork is a little bit lighter. Um, watch it, the head, the headset and spacers are way more. So it's around the same, but again, it's a little bit lighter, which means you're going to have more. Uh, your disc brakes mean it's going to have more displacement because there's more material on the left here than the right. So when it just, I find road disc at high speed doesn't handle as good. 
and I reckon the pros who are using these bikes get a special layup fork. I can get heavy duty stuff. Because yeah, riding these SL7s, it just feels when you hit the brakes hard, it's a flex a little torsional load there. The torsional duty isn't there. I mean, you put a through axle there, but it doesn't matter if you've got stiff here, because if this is flexy and a lot too light, you know, like you flex that, it's just, you know, it twists, especially with the, off, you know, the offset brake there. It's just poor design, in my opinion, for road. Good for gravel on a 500 gram fork, but otherwise too light. Anyway, that's the deal. We'll build them both up. And this is the Windspace SLC, which is uh, looks to be a ripper bike. Beautiful. Thanks to Windspace for hooking us up. And uh, let's build it up. So, so why would you buy, you know, why would you buy an S-Works frame when you could buy something like this for, you know, a fraction of the cost? And if you crash this in a crit, you're not going to be crying as much as you're breaking your brand new S-Works. So, you know, and the S-Works, this is the Windspace uh, headset, the FSA, it's just a much better design. It doesn't have holes in it that are going to cause your hydraulic brake cables to fail potentially down the track. So for me, the wind space out of the box is designed better. It's going to be far easier to build up. Mechanics going to want to work on it, things like that. So it just it that baffles me why people today would pay, you know, the top dollar for these bikes um, when often the pros don't even ride the bike that you you, you know you ride in a local shop. There's a different carbon layup, etc. So I find that a bit um, is it deceptive, deceitful? I don't know, you know. So yeah, it's um that's just that's just long enough. What do you think, Junior? You have a little chew there? But yeah, I think these these brands here, Wind Space, etc., they're doing uh Yeah, they're they're definitely getting more popularity because once people wake up to uh, the reality of how much profit margin these huge, huge companies make, you know, which is fine, I mean business is business, but I'm just saying, like this this frame, this SL7 is not better. Then they uh, people say, oh, it's a fake. Oh, it's, it's not fake, dude. Look at that. That's not fake. That's real. This is a real bike. You know, I did some little troll posts just to see what people would say. But this is, this is a real S-Works SL7s, man. Fantastic. Anyway, if you want one of these Windspace bikes, um, go to windspace.com and use Do Not 10 if you want 10% off. But like Junior wants to get one. But uh, let me let me build it up first anyway and ride it. I already know how it's going to ride because I have ridden one before. But... Let's get it built up, and uh, what sort of group set do you want to see me put on there? And uh, we'll get it rolling. We'll get it rolling. Damn, what a good day. That's a cool bike. That's actually stiffer than the SL7.